Hi, I'm Karen Sutherland and this is my garden classroom. In my inner suburban block in Melbourne, I grow over 200 edible and useful plants, many of them in the shade, such as my very favourite Australian native, the lemon-scented myrtle. So come and see what I do in my garden, growing food plants alongside chickens, fish and bees, and learn how to grow these things yourself. good solution for urban dwelling, for urban living. Um, so the, the shady conditions that are created by the multi-storey developments that are going up in lots of inner city Melbourne and other cities are really well suited to avocados. Um, they don't mind being in shaded conditions because it replicates the rainforest that, they're, that they come from, that they're native to. And they, they tolerate these conditions and they're happy to burst up into the sunshine just as they would burst through a rainforest canopy. Uh, you just have to know what conditions to give them. And, and the other point about them is that they're evergreen, so they're able to screen out really ugly buildings and you know double storey and triple and even perhaps not quite triple storey, but they're able to give you really good evergreen screening. The main thing is you need to know how to look after them. So the first thing is you need to prepare by improving the soil down to a depth of one meter and perhaps even raising the soil up if you don't have really good soil because they're really prone to rotting of their roots so they need exceptionally well drained soil and as, as rich as possible so the sort of soil you'd give to tomatoes or something like that lots and lots of manure and compost and avocados need the best preparation possible then the next thing you need to do is buy a grafted variety so seedling avocados, I've been asked many times, and you may be lucky and they will fruit for you and they will take about seven to 10 years before they'll do so. But you're much better off to buy a grafted avocado so that you'll actually get fruit. So the best variety of avocado for Melbourne and cooler, cooler climates and even Tasmania, my friend in Hobart even has a very small bacon avocado and has, has small avocados on it so far, um, is ba a variety called bacon. So that's the um, most widely grown in Melbourne because of its cold tolerance. The next point is that you need to also have a cross-pollinator. And it's often written that you don't need a cross-pollinator in a cool climate, but I haven't found that to be so. You will get some pollination and fruit with just the bacon, but you will get a far greater fruit set with, two, with a cross-pollinator, with two different varieties. So you need a, a type A and a type B. So I've chosen, very belatedly you can see in here, a, a small one, which is a, a Hass. So um, you need to really ideally put in the two avocados at the same time at the same size so the baby one doesn't have to compete with the large avocado to get started. So this is going to be a problem that I've got now to get this one up next to this big tree, this existing tree. So ideally bacon and also this variety of Hass is a semi-dwarf variety because Hass can be a very big tree. Uh, this is a variety called Lamb Hass. So you need bacon and you need lamb and that's going to get you really good avocados. And that will also give you a really good spread of avocados throughout uh, many, many months over, over even up to a six month period because avocados don't ripen on the tree. You actually have to pick them to, when they're not ripe and ripen them inside your kitchen next to some bananas or apples or something similar. So that they can last for a very long time on the tree as long as you can protect them from rats and possums the scourge of gardening in the inner city. So this is a really good example of what a young avocado should be given as a optimum place to start off with. So you need to build it a little shade cloth tent. So this is to protect it from the cold in winter. And if you're not in New South Wales, for instance, Northern New South Wales or somewhere warmer, even perhaps like Sydney. Um, but in, in Melbourne or country Victoria or Tasmania, you need to give your avocado a shade cloth tent not just for winter but also to protect from the heat of summer because their, their, their branches or their skin so to speak, their trunk is very thin and delicate and just like a baby's or a children's skin you need to protect, protect it from the harsh sun until they get well established. So as they get bigger the branches and older the branches hang down and they have the kind of this skirt of branches and that protects the trunk and the, and the, and the lower branches. The, the leaves protect the, the, um, the the bark from sun. Uh, so you can see what this one's doing here, it's kind of drooping down and that and that this foliage helps um, shelter the tree, shelter the bark. And without that it would become quite sunburnt. 
So you leave this on for at least two or three years. So as the tree grows taller, you'll need to make a bigger shade cloth tent if you haven't built a big one in the first place, like this one wasn't built um, to last two or three years. And then after two or three years, you'll be able to take that off and you might just need to put a shade cloth on if there was a, say, an unexpected 45 degree day, which does happen in Melbourne. So the next point is you need to water, when you start to get fruit set, you need to water really well through the hotter months, the drier months of January and February. Because these, even though these are rainforest plants and plants of the tropics and subtropics, they're not really equipped to cope with the intense heat of Melbourne, for instance. So, at El Country, Victoria. So you need to water really carefully at that time to avoid too much fruit drop. Otherwise you'll, you'll get a big fruit set, but you won't get any fruit staying on the tree. And that, that's kind of your basic principles for growing avocados, particularly in Melbourne and other parts of country Victoria and colder parts of, of Australia.